Okay, I'm back. Kind of. Not really sure what this is. Fucked and drank all night. Acted all alright. Had no need to fight. Tonight, tonight. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever you identify as. I just wanted to make like a quick little video just to kind of explain where I've been. And why I haven't been making videos for like a month. YouTube it used to be this thing that I could go to when I was like, no matter what I was feeling like, this is going to get deep. Um, yeah, no matter what I was feeling like, it was just a place I could go where I didn't have to, I don't know. It was just a place that I could go. It's just my happy place. Let's just say that. And when I started making videos, it was just the best thing ever. I was like, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And I just started making them and it was something that I enjoyed doing. It gave me something to do and it was also like really positive for like my mental health. So lately I have kind of pushed YouTube to the side because I've got a job and I've been working. I work pretty much every day and unfortunately I've like prioritised other things and YouTube is pretty low on that list of priorities. Which is unfortunate but... I'm hoping to change that soon. Um, so I currently have two days off work, so I thought, let's make a YouTube video. Because I've made like three or four videos within this month, and I just, every time I've gone to edit them, I just hated them, and I just never did it. And I just kept putting it off and off. Um, but I've slowly been starting to get back into it, which is good. Um, because it kind of became like a bit of a chore and that was the last thing that I wanted YouTube to be because that was the one thing that I would not procrastinate and I wouldn't stress about and it was just something that was fun and I could do with no pressure but recently I felt like I've been putting pressure on myself because when I film something I'm like no that's not good enough but hopefully this isn't going to happen with this hopefully this is actually going to make it to YouTube yeah nobody asked for this but I'm filming it anyway so if you don't care you can just watch another one another thing which is really exciting, which has just become a thing in my life, I guess. For the longest time, like since I can remember, I've always wanted to shave my hair to raise money for like a charity. And I've like talked about it for ages and ages. And since we moved to Adelaide, I was like, right, I'm actually going to do it. But I've just kept putting it off. And then I think, when did I post it? Like a week ago, maybe? I was like, right, I'm just going to do it. Like, I've kind of got my life together. So why not shave my head? <laughs> So it won't be seen as like a mental breakdown thing. It'll be seen as like, oh, she's doing something nice for charity. <laughs> so I will be shaving my head on the 30th of November, which is less than two months away, which is crazy, um, for the world's greatest shave. I just kind of wanted to do something because I kind of wanted to shave my head anyway. And I was like, well, it would be a bit strange if I were to just do it one night and then rock up to work the next day and everyone will be like, are you okay, hun? <laughs> So I was like, let's do it with some kind of organisation so then it seems legit and it's also not just a selfish thing that I'm doing for myself, it's going towards people and families that really need it. I'm going to be donating like ponytails and I'm also raising money. My goal is $1,000 at the moment. I will leave a link down below so if you guys want to donate or if you can even just like share the link around, it's on my Facebook and my Instagram. So sharing it would be really helpful. Um, and if you can donate, that's great. If you can't, that's fine too. But your support is just all that really matters. As you guys might know, like in previous videos, I've dyed my hair. So I don't really give a shit about my hair. <laughs> like it's just, to me, it's just hair. Some people have emotional attachments to their hair and that's cool because obviously each to their own, I guess. But I just don't have any emotional attachment to my hair whatsoever like I would be fine with just like taking a chunk and just chopping it off which is what I'm gonna do but it's gonna be for a good cause so it makes sense why not give my hair to someone who maybe has lost their hair due to chemotherapy or other things and all they really want is to just just to feel like a little bit normal I guess and if hair is something that can do that for them and something that can maybe bring back a bit of that life to them, then like, why wouldn't I do it? I feel like it's kind of selfish for me to keep hair that doesn't mean anything to me, but can mean the world to someone else. Um, yeah, that was a bit deep. Whoa. Yes. Yeah, so I'm shaving my head and donating it. I will film it as much as possible. And I'm also 
think I might live stream it if I can. Okay, so there's like a whole other part to this video that I filmed that really just doesn't have any context, so I decided not to put in like the whole thing, but there's parts of it that are kind of funny, so I thought I'll put in the funny parts in like a bit of like a blooper reel, so that's what you're going to watch now. Enjoy that. Love ya. I'm back, thoughts. Yeah. That was a stressful experience. <laughs> Almost got in a car accident. Almost cried. Cars are parked like this way. And I'm driving along here trying to find a path. And this person just decides that they're going to reverse. And I'm like, hun, you're going to fucking kill me. <laughs> I get there's blind spots. Yeah, blind spots are a thing. Cool. I get that. I'm like right behind you. Like I'm a, it's not a small car. Like you could probably see at least a little bit of my car and that tells me you weren't even checking any of your fucking mirrors. I was like yelling. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, hold on a second. Just think. They can't fucking hear me. I'm in a car, they're in a car. What would one do in this situation? So I just like held down my horn and all these people around were like staring at me and I was like, sorry. But it was like two centimeters from my car. Like they were just gonna reverse straight into the car. And I was like, oh my God, that happened. And I like freaked out a little bit. But like when I held the horn down, like they kept going and I was like, oh my God, this is it. I'm just gonna have to, I may have done that wrong. <laughs> um, I was like, yep, this is it. <laughs> this is a bit dramatic. <laughs> So it's going like two kilometers an hour. I was like, I need to dip out of this situation. And it was all fine. The thing that I don't understand is that they put these in the meat section. Like, I get it. But I'm following like a vegan thing on Facebook. Everyone was posting about all this cool vegan stuff they find in Coles and Woolies. And I'm like, how have I never seen this before? And they're like, it's in the meat section. And I'm like, Ugh. but like, why? Like, why a vegan generally would avoid the meat section that's not generally a place i go like i haven't been there in a very long time like i get it it's obviously there so it will be there as like an option for meat eaters that'll be like oh that looks cool oh it's vegan let's give that a try but like it's just a bit silly <laughs> i think anyway hey man what the fuck is that and we're gonna pop on some pink eyelashes. <laughs> they look like that. Obviously I did that really fucking badly. If I were to do that properly, that would look really nice. <sighs> I get the whole like no glue, like really easy. I get it. But I'm just a bit fucking stupid. I guess if you're somebody that loses your eyelashes a lot, if that's the thing that happens to people, you could just grab something metal and just be like, oh, where are my eyelashes gone? Oh, it's fine, I put them on the beans. The, what are these? Chickpeas. <laughs> be like, oh, it's fine, I put them on the chickpeas, so I, I, I remember. Also, this method is just fucking confusing. I also just worry about if you like are close to something metal, would it just like rip off your eye? You know? These questions will puzzle me till the day I die. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's cool. I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye. <laughs>